Let us try to understand how to activate data analysis and solver options for your Excel. For that, you just need to go to the data menu. And after clicking onto the data menu, you'll see on this data ribbon, the options of data analysis and solver. So by default, these two options are not present, but they are present on my screen because I have activated them. And this is what you also need to do. So let us just try to activate these two options. Go to the file menu. In the file menu, try to find options. So I'll just click on more and here it is options. I'll just click on it. And as soon as I click on it, an Excel options dialog box will appear on my screen. Through the menu, I'll search for Excel add-ins and here it is. I'll just click on Excel add-ins and you can see the interface has changed based on Excel add-ins. I'll try to find out manage Excel add-ins and once again here it is at the bottom of your screen. So there is a drop down menu and in which by default Excel add-ins has already been selected. So I'll just click on go and after clicking on go an add-ins dialog box appears on the screen with four options of analysis tool pack, analysis tool pack VBA, Euro currency tools and solver add-in. You can see that on my screen by default there is a tick mark on analysis tool pack and solver add-in. That is why these two options were appearing on my screen earlier. So now you, what you need to do is just put a tick mark or a check mark in front of it. You just need to click here like this and click on OK. And here you are. Once again, just go to this data menu and on this ribbon, now you can find the options of data analysis and solver activated for you. Have a great analysis. Now you're good to go.